I was a student at Brown Mackey College, but now I can't find a job because of your lack of credibility and overpriced classes. I had to sell the shirt on my back just to put gas into my car they will be repossessing. I am now $50,000 in debt and employers laugh at my resume. My wages are being garnished from my McDonald's paycheck. I am going to sue them for fraud, silly student. Tricks are for Brown Mackey College and Education Management Corporation. The only way to sue us is through binding arbitration. Who are you? I am a high-priced attorney for Brown Mackey College and you are nothing but an annoying pimple on my ass. You see, you signed a contract that says you or any other student can't sue us and you may not engage in a class action lawsuit. You should have read your student enrollment agreement, but then again if you were accepted to Brown Mackey College, you probably couldn't read in the first place. So basically, you are screwed, now get back to your Mac job. I have to go to small claims court to crush another Brown Mackey student. You will not get away with this. How can this be legal? I don't know and I don't care. After small claims court I have to go to a binding arbitration dispute. A student is actually going to try to make her case. Poor student thinks she has a chance. You see students cannot afford a lawyer because of their joke of a paycheck. And even if they could, we would still win because of poorly documented complaints and the fact that we pick the dispute company that sides with us 99% of the time. They love us because of students like you. To them you are just a repeat customer for the dispute agency. Yes, you can still sue us in small claims court for up to $5,000. What can I take you to small claims court for? You can pretty much take someone to small claims court for anything. It will cost you $75. Well, I think I can muster up some money for that. Good luck winning. You don't have a chance. I may not have a chance, but at least I will have a voice and you have to show up. That will cost you money. How many students has Education Management Corporation screwed? Last time I checked the sales report we had 23,000 poor broken souls in just the last quarter. Well if 20,000 of us take you to small claims court that would put a turn that pimple on your ass into a warrant and cut into your profits. Well, I haven't thought about that. Okay I've had just about enough of you. Time is money and I'll be on my way. I have a plane to catch with my mistress and all those lines of cocaine aren't going to snort themselves. Wait just a minute there Baldi. You're not going anywhere. Oh you've had enough of me? First you ruined my life with crippling debt, then you tell me I can't even sue you? Let me tell you a few things you didn't know. First off, you should know that all those students you rear-ended are not going to forgive or forget you especially since you can't get out of these loans even through bankruptcy. Furthermore, the same technology you tried to use to rob students through your online education is now posting how bad your school really is on the internet. Not all the students here are stupid, some of us know what the hell is going on here. Many students just got lured in your web through your deceptive marketing techniques. If you put as much money into your college as you do your advertising budget, you might have had something, but instead you created the next subprime lending crisis that isn't going to fly with the taxpayers either. Now you just wait a second there young man. I'm talking here, you shut up. You point that finger at me again, I will break it off. This isn't kindergarten and I am an adult not a child. Before you head to the Cayman Islands with your slutty girlfriend. Good luck with your federal lawsuit with the Department of Justice. We're not gonna take it anymore. In my next video I will be teaching students how to take legal action against you. They can start by contacting the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools. We will see who is the last laugh.